So today, we are here to discuss part one, book one, of Dead House Gates, which is the second book of the Miles and Book of the Fallen series. And I'm excited. This is like one of my favorite books of all time. So I just want to kick it off by asking, did you notice a tone difference between Gardens and this one? Um, this one is a little darker, I think. Um, ah, but no, I didn't notice a major difference. Yet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's only book one. Mm -hmm. Um, it still is, it's kind of like how Gardens was in that people are all heading to some place and I'm having a hard time following who's going where and why. <laughs> so, <laughs> but... Anyways, um, yeah, hmm. there's a little difference, so. So, any questions that you want to hit on, or? Um, I'm going to go straight to my main question. Okay. If I read correctly. Okay. And I'm probably going to say the name wrong. Are Shadow Throne and Kellen Ved one and the same? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you understood that. I understood <laughs> it, yes. <laughs> and apparently Cotillion goes by another name, also known as Dancer. Who is Kellen Ved's right hand in the Empire. Which he's now also Shadow Throne's right hand in Moonspawn, sort of. Moonspawn? I'm, not Moonspawn. I really want Animander Wright to come back, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I meant. <laughs> Anyways, um, I forgot where I was going with that. The shadow. No, no, yeah, yeah. But so it, it kind of makes sense too, though. Dancer, cotillion. Cotillions are like dances. Mm -hmm. But, anyways, um, <laughs> but he was friends with the Preach Burners? They were all on the same side. They go back really mm -hmm. far. Okay. I did want to ask. Um, this is kind of... I had to remember in the last book, parallel. Things happening parallel. This is not. But is it... Future? It is however long it took Fiddler's group to get from Genobacus to the Seven Cities. Okay. Okay, so it is like future, but not like super far future. No. Okay, okay, I just want to make sure. Now, book three <clears throat> might run parallel to this. Okay, so, anyways, we got a few new characters in this. Just a few? Just and a few is three <laughs> or more, so I'm good with the wording. <laughs> um, so, we still are, as far as our veterans go, we have Crocus, Fiddler. Absalar, Calum, 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 however you want to say it. Okay. So, yeah, I enjoyed all their adventures because I already know them. <laughs> At least somewhat. Somewhat, yes. Um, out of all their those people's adventures, I think I'm like... Easy, I'm enjoying Fiddlers more than... Column, Calum, however you say it. I'm going to probably change the way I say that name this whole time. <laughs> well, so. Fiddler. Fiddler, yeah. I, I can't really. Ah, oh, man. But. When he was, well, he's under the guise of a Grawl. <laughs> and you <laughs> chuckled at his. Curses. Curses to these soldiers. Another, you know, clan of yeah. force warriors. Because they were trying to get into a city that apparently is closed. Um, I chuckled when the other group of soldiers came up. The uh, Rock, I think they were. Mm -hmm. And he's all like, you're not worthy enough to smell my horse's thoughts. And I'm just like, oh man, that's great. <laughs> it also took me kind of to a Monty Python. <laughs> <laughs> a father in your general direction. <laughs> exactly. So, but anyways, I'm enjoying his adventures, even though they're pretty dark and gruesome. I mean, the horse freaking bit someone's face off. I love that horse. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
I mean, I like that horse too, though. Not like I liked it before it bit someone's face off. Because it had attitude, it had yeah. character. Yeah. So I hope the horse sticks around. Um, but now he had no, not him. Colum has some weird book he, delivery. He delivered the book to the sheikh. Who immediately opened it and then got a freaking arrow in the head, from what I gather, from the people who were following Colum. Yes. Lost our yields. But what I was going to say is now he has a companion, some tripod thing. Aptorian. I couldn't. I was having a hard time picturing it. How should I picture it? A three-legged okay. demon okay. with like a pointy I head. I mean, it, but is it like walking on two or no, walking on three. three? And it has one eye. Mm-hmm. Okay. See that one, I'm not able to picture very much. It it is an abstract design. Okay. Okay. Um. So yeah, those are our veterans. There's more to it, but um, I want to visit Felicin. Felicin. I don't know how you would say it. Heberic. Heberic and. Bowden. Mm-hmm. Um. First of all, she is the sibling of Captain Perrin. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And now, because when we ended Gardens of the Moon, the adjunct in there, what was her name again? Lorne. Lorne. No more. So now we have a new adjunct, Tavore. Tavor. Tavor, I don't know, who is the sister of Felicin and Captain Perrin. And so they all think, too, that Captain Perrin is just vanished. Well, that's the last word they got. Yeah. He's like, well, where is he? So, but oh my goodness. Because now Captain Perrin has changed his loyalties and he's out to get the Empress. And now his sister works for the Empress and the other sister's being held hostage by the Empress. And let me tell you what, this Felicin chick... When she finally does have her day face to face with her <laughs> sister, she gonna tear that biatch up because this girl has gone through some stuff. She's selling her body to get places safely, and now she's selling her body to help her friends, Heberic. It's the only currency she has. Yes, but I mean, she gonna be pissed. When she finally <laughs> sees her sister and is like, hmm. What the is wrong with you? Why did you do this to me? Which, why did she do that to her? That's her sister. There's more going on there than... Oh, you know what I hope, though? I hope. I hope. But, well, I don't hope. But, you know, it would be interesting if it turned out that Tavor was like an implant. Like, we think she's working for the Empress, but she's really working for someone else. And this is all a part of the plan. <laughs> like, maybe it's all a plan. Maybe maybe Felicin is in on it, too. See, here I go. I'm trying to do the damn foreshadowing. <laughs> stop it. Just stop it. Just stop it. But anyways, so yes. Tavor? Not in this book. But by the end of the series, she is one of my favorite characters. Ugh. Okay. Well, I don't know much about her right now to have an opinion. Yeah. So, um, who else? What else? Throw some. It's throw some pest. Oh, he's a weird one. I kind of got like crup feelings from him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just like. Yes. They all know Krupp, so it's not like this is Krupp in disguise. Maybe? Probably not. But it's just like... No, he's not Krupp. Yeah, no, I know. But I'm just like, I'm getting Krupp vibes. But he has that like... Other than the pastries are yum, yum, yum. <laughs> well, he has he has the whole like talking where people hear him. Yes. But he... Yeah. He's and then the donkey. The donkey. Remind me of the donkey. Remind me. Well... Um, just keep in mind the donkey as you read. Oh, yeah. okay. Read, okay, just remember the donkey. Was the donkey his? Yeah, he rode in on the donkey. Okay, okay. And then I they know threw he him ha- off. I know he has somebody he calls Servant. His servant is named Servant. <laughs> so That is more important later. Okay, so donkey and Servant. Donkey. Okay. And then you have the Ancients. The Ancients, remind me. 
Ikarim and Mapo. Ah, yes. See, okay, so here's, uh, I guess while we're talking about, because you're calling these people by... Well, I say they're ancient because they're a long-lived... They're different Are, species, Okay, I was going to say, they're not the same. No, because Ikarium is half jag. Okay. I don't think it's ever really discussed. Or his other half it, Yet, anyway. Yeah. And then Mapo, Mapo is a trail. I do like them. They're friends, and I feel it's that very friendship. It's tragic friendship, but it's real. Well, I do feel, I know there's something, because Mapo has these internal thoughts, and they are alluding to not goodness for Icarum, Icarium. Icarium. And it almost seems like whatever is going to be, it may be at Mapo's hand, but I don't know. I don't know. So, <laughs> but yeah, I feel the friendship there. I enjoy their adventures as well. They are the ones who encountered Iskarol Pust. Um, so yeah, I like them. Uh, let's get to where people are going. Is I don't know where everyone is going. And that's bothering me because I don't know... Well, okay. Speaking of people going... Going, okay. Remember the convergence that they were talking about? With salt taken and divers. Let's what? It, let's break. Okay, so you. I was confused at first, but I want to put it out there for okay. you to understand. Soul taken. Think of like Anamanda Rake. One person transforms into something. Something. So he like transformed into a dragon. Yes, that's okay. soul taken. So we had a couple of those. Somebody was a bear. Right. Okay. Divers is one person that transforms into many. So that's how they can be like... Like that one wolf pack. It was only one person, but mm -hmm. it was multiple wolves. Or like the flies. Yes. Okay. So one person, multiple things is the... I've been saying divers, but... I just say yeah. divers. Cause... And then soul taken is one person, one thing. Mm -hmm. And they can always only change into that one thing. They only have one transformation. Okay. So the one guy would always be a bear. Anna Marie Rake would always be a dragon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, but these are not like, because like, okay, so Anamanda Rake, Moonspawn, his people, what are they? I can't recall. To Standy. To Standy. Okay. So that's their, I guess, species? Yes. Okay. So what is the soul taken part? What is that? Soul taken is just a power to transform. Okay. Same, same with diverse. Okay. So it's a power. Yes. Because remember Mapo and Akarian both said there was a smell? Yes. When they used it? Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like it is its own thing. Okay, so it's a magic. Yes. Okay. It's not like a species or a... Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so it's a magic. I'll have to remember that. I want to put that out there so there's no... Well, yeah, because I was thinking later. they were like like a species. like a, Or like, you know... No, like you find out later how like the Tistandi that turn into dragons find out how they accomplished that okay i'm not so sure you get more explanation about other things but i know you get those okay so anyways back to we were talking about where people were going so all the soul taken and divers are trying to ascend basically by finding um the gate whatever it was called okay ascend meaning become the god of soul taken and divers okay but they're not working together. No, they're, they're that's enemies. why they're battling. They're enemies. Yes, because the one guy... Because we didn't cover Duiker, Tolkien, yeah, and all that. Yeah, they were with some guy. Was it... Is it Sormo? Mm -hmm. He... They found something, which I pictured it to be like a manhole cover. But it had like, you know, engravings and things on it. And he stood on it. And he opened up... Uh, was it a warren? Mm -hmm. He opened up a warren. And in doing that... Soul taken and we're traveling in it. They were and traveling, battling. yeah. Okay, and so they were witnessing them take each other out, and then, and then they, they turned their focus on them. Okay. It was just the free for all. Until somebody knocked Sormo Cold. out <laughs> and climbed to close his warren. Which, since we forgot to cover that, what do you think about Duiker and all them? Um. So it's Duiker, Culp. Is there someone else? Coltane built. I don't really have much on them. I will say... Right now. I will say by the end of the book, that is my favorite storyline. Okay. Um, I mean, I do like 
um, anybody who is like a historian within the <laughs> world, I'm probably going to like. Because I like history, as I have said numerous times in previous videos. Um, speaking of history, this is actually not history. It's going to be more to an author note who... Uh, Stephen Erickson's background for what I gather is anthropology. I can totally see the anthropology mm -hmm. in this because I did study a little anthropology myself in one of my what am I going to do with my life moments. <laughs> <laughs> and so I can see like, you know. When he's describing the when ruins. He, yeah, the, when he describes the ruins. Um, and not to mention like the cultural differences and mm -hmm. everything else that he's just like. Yeah. So I, I, I do kind of like that. So I guess that would be like world building. Yes. I wouldn't say I'm a fan of world building yet, but <laughs> it could happen. Well, there's a whole lot more world to reveal. So <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got a lot of opportunity to decide if I'm one of those people mm -hmm. who likes world building. Okay. Um, but yeah. I feel like the first book is set up. Yes, As, always. Mm -hmm. A lot of setup, kind of get to know a little bit of who's who and mm -hmm. what's what. Oh, but we never said, where are they all going? Are they all trying to get to the gate? No, well, the Soul Taken and Divers are. Right, but where is, like, Colum going? Colum is going to wherever the Empress is to kill her. Okay, where is Fiddler and Crocus? Are they trying to... They're trying to deliver Absalar. To her place? Yes. Okay. And then Duker, Culp. So that, they don't have a destination yet. Who did they, was it them who met with somebody? And there was another guy, was it? Malik Rowe? Yes. They met with somebody. Who did they meet with? It's like they had a meeting with this person, and Malik Rowe was kind of like, Talking back and giving attitude. That was the Coltane meeting, right? Wasn't that? Okay. Because mm -hmm. Coltane is somebody. He's the fist. Okay. The new fist. Okay. Because remember, they came in on the ship, the Wiccans, mm -hmm. and he was like down there and like averted, you know, slaughter. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. And then they all had a meeting, and Malik Rell, I don't know, I don't remember. He was kind of like, I don't know. Asshole? I don't know if he was, but Coltane did not care for what he was saying and essentially <laughs> gave him the boot. But anyways, yeah. So yeah, set up, a little bit darker, certain characters I'm enjoying, certain characters I'm like, I don't know what you got going on, <laughs> but... So... Go ahead. Sorry. I'm not going to say it right. Bahak Aral? Okay, yes, I know what you're talking about. The monkeys. Mm -hmm. Are they all monkeys? Uh, that's how I picture them. I picture like the Wizard of Oz flying <laughs> monkeys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they're familiars? They can be. What are familiars? Think of a summon that you use to like support you. So sidekick? Yes, kind of more slavish, but... Okay. Because they have Mamats. Fiddler, Crocus, and Absol. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me tell you why. I do like Fiddler and the fact that, like, stray dogs <laughs> and random cats and, like, all these... They just go to him. And he just is like, oh my god, but he accepts it. <laughs> He's like a whisperer of stray things. <laughs> but anyway, sorry. Yes, monkeys. Okay. I just wanted to... Because they were mentioned... Um, it's Squirrel Puss. Apparently he has a whole herd of them. I don't know if they'd be a herd. But he doesn't care for them. No. He doesn't like them at all because they poop everywhere. <laughs> well, they are a natural creature, too. Oh, okay. So, I think Fiddler alluded to that... The, they are natural to, like, the seven cities. Oh. But, you know, people... Some of them can make them... Like, their demon summons and stuff. Okay. I'm sorry. I totally cut you off. You were going to say something, and then I thought about them. 
Oh, about uh, the shike. Her bodyguards. Did they, like, make you feel anything? Not really. Not initially. I mean, they were able to get by Caleb's senses and get him off that horse. No oh, the Tobacco? Yeah, so. He sensed Liam, man. He didn't sense the Tobacco. Uh-huh. Well, did he sense him or did he hear him? Because he sh- the one of them shouted out, stop where you're going, or halt, or. Well, yeah, shall yeah. Pass. But you yeah. know what I mean? He <laughs> yeah. knew where he was based off the sound. Right. And the other one snuck up behind him and got him. I mean, the fact that you're asking me about them means I probably need to keep them in the back of my mind, along with Servant and Donkey. I think you'll appreciate Donkey. <laughs> That's why I brought that up. Okay. There's a part later with two donkeys. Whoa. <laughs> Not in this book, but... Oh. <laughs> Something to look forward to. A meeting of donkeys. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, but yeah, so a lot of setup. Mm-hmm. Anything else that you wanted to talk about? No, I think I got it all for the moment. Okay. So it might be a couple weeks until our next Malzahn video because life and reading time and all that. And she wants time to digest. So, Even though we did just pretty much finish this up right before we're filming but this. But only, only the last chapter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't, like, binge it all. Yeah. So. Well, I guess that's it then, right? Sounds good to me. Mm-hmm. See you next time. See you.